just a reminder, I haven't had a second to check Twitter, but we do have that hashtag, uh, EEP2019. Again, there are folks playing at home, and there are a couple of other hashtags if you go. There's uh, EEP ideas. If you uh, want to share some thoughts about what we ought to be doing and the EEP challenges, if you have any uh-oh moments that you want to share. Um, for folks playing at home, thanks for playing along. Um, OK, so um, I have only, uh, uh, like uh, Bernard, I've only known uh, Yakut Ghazi for a little while, um, a little longer than Bernard. but. Um, Actually, not in person, uh, but I uh, I feel like uh, she's my friend because she's that kind of person, uh, and um, she's also um, very quickly convinced me that uh, I have a lot to learn from her. Um, and Georgia Tech, I think uh, many of you may already be aware, they're doing some interesting work with um, affordable degrees at scale. And I think when people hear that phrase, affordable degrees at scale, it's easy at a distance to raise your eyebrow at that. Yeah, well, what about quality? Um, but it's a lot harder uh, to be skeptical uh, when you get a little closer and you find out how uh, transparent and generous they're willing to be uh, with what they're learning. Uh, so Yakut is going to share a little bit uh, about what they've been doing. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for that kind introduction. And I'm going to start my eight minutes. Um, hello, I'm Yakut Ghazi. This is our first EEP. Um, so thank you for the generous invitation. My uh, colleague, Troy Corville, Dr. Troy Corville, and I are thrilled to be here. Georgia Tech Professional Education is the academic division of Georgia Tech that uh, delivers, well, designs, develops, and delivers courses for online delivery, both on the resi uh, residential side or professional development side, as well as online. Uh, we are a large operation, but we are the home of the notorious 7,000 master's degree in online computer science. And now we have a $10,000 analytics degree and a $10,000 cybersecurity degree. So I'm going to talk very briefly about uh, what that is about. And you talked about secret sauce in the, um, in the program. So uh, maybe a semblance of a secret sauce to create more conversations for the next two days. I'm not sure if, yeah, there it is. So just brief overview. Um, this is the sixth year of OMSCS, Online Master of Science in Computer Science, um, and it's growing tremendously. These three programs now collectively have over 12,000 students. That equates to one out of three students at Georgia Tech being online. So any of three students, you know, look to your right, right, look to your left, one of you is an online student, which is a tremendous change for the institution. Um, what is a degree at scale in our definition? We pick and choose high demand fields to generate the scale, uh, which is a result of a marketing research. And I'll, I'll talk, to, talk about that if I have time left at the end. Um, we are passionate about non-credit to credit open learning pathways. So we have a MicroMasters, for example, feeding into one of these degrees. Uh, we do want to have collaboration with MOOC platforms. And that's primarily because of the non-credit to credit pathways. Uh, for some reason, this is not showing as it should. So I'm just going to. Um, get out of the show mode and then use this manually. Still not working too well. Well, we'll just leave with that. Um, we are passionate about higher education's iron triangle. You alluded to that a little bit. Can you create scale? Can you create accessibility while at the same time keep your, keep your um, quality high? Um, and it's, it's, it's tough, but we are committed to that and that's what we are about. Um, again. Let's just do this. Uh, I think the, the most interesting part of our story is the financial part of it. How do we really bring this cost down? It is, um, again, it's a part of the passion, right? We start with, can we do, actually, you know, when OMSCS started, I think Sebastian Thrun, um, back then the CEO of Udacity said, can we do a $1,000 master's degree? And then when folks started working, they came up to six to seven hundred, a little less than um, seven thousand dollars. So that's the approach, right? How um, how how uh, affordable can this be? 
So for analytics and for cyber, the same exercise took place. What are our um, variable costs? What are our um, constant costs? How can we bring this cost down? And um, a lot of folks sharpen their pencils and we iterate. So we have, it's, sometimes it gets really overwhelming when you're looking at your costs that closely. Because for example, for, for the instructional design and production side, we have to track our time and make sure that we are counting everything towards this project so that we can look at the cost of it and go from there. Uh, one thing that we were not able to uh, predict at the beginning, for example, was the delivery costs. So uh, typically in an instructional design operation, you create, you give it away, and then you're pretty much done, right? In our case, we found out that because of that commitment to quality, my instructional designers are actually staying with the uh, professor the second time, the third time, the fourth time. So that adds to the, to the cost that we, which we had not predicted before. So that's one of the examples of iteration from a, from a business perspective. Um, as I said, it is, it is sometimes overwhelming. We go through several different models that look at enrollment costs, um, that look at the revenues. And then at the end, you know, the simpl simplified version looks like something like this. And hopefully these are going to be available to folks in an archive so they can, they can uh, look at these better. Um, so at the end, there's, there's a revenue stream and then there are costs and typically we, we reach the uh, break even in about three years. So the first year, second year, we're all in the, in the red. Uh, one thing that also happens to us is um, we are able to seek and find corporate partners to provide some seed funds. So that's that's very important. AT&T uh, was the corporate partner for OMSCS. AT&T and um, Accenture were the uh, partners for OMS Analytics. And now we're working on a partner for cybersecurity. Um, the other differentiator could be the fact that we do our in-house production. And this is as a result of 40 years of doing online and distance at Georgia Tech. Um, there's the know-how, there's this, the infrastructure that we were able to build this on. So this is our studio, one of the studios. And then, of course, content is not everything. Lecture is not everything. You all know that this needs to be wrapped around some um, pedagogic or andragogic activities. So at the end, it looks like something like this. This is an example from edX. Um, but one of the interesting things that happened in this journey is you may have seen or heard uh, Jill Watson, one of our TAs um, that um, no, no student knew that it was, a, it was a robot when this was first done. I think this is now the, the third year of Jill Watson and you know, her siblings and her cousins and whatnot. Um, currently, Ashok Gol is working on a research assistant. So this is a TA, right? Research assistant doing the, you know, the fabulous thing of putting together your literature survey. Um, so these kinds of interesting things are also happening in our programs that make them um, cutting edge. Uh, we have a 1 to 50 TA student ratio typically in these classes to, to enhance the student engagement. Um, we have real-time office hours, um, real-time um, inter interactions with students. All of those are being recorded because we have a global audience. It's, an, it's interesting to note that 80%, 75 to 80% of these programs are US-based. So it's not a primarily international operation. Um, and it's, it's probably because most international students seek the experience of being in the US rather than taking online. But at the same time, we didn't really um, emphasize the global marketing yet. We also see that students create their own forums and have all sorts of conversations there. And sometimes it's hard for us to know what's going on and we feel like we're losing control. But um, we, we learned from that experience a lot. Um, the technology piece of it is really interesting too because there is no one platform that can do all of, all of that for us. This is just a snapshot of what OMSCS students can be interacting with in terms of taking these courses and we are constantly working towards making it more streamlined and find uh, better opportunities for us to uh, present um, you know, one platform that does it all, or better yet, one platform and its partners that are integrated. Um, so interoperability is, a, is an important aspect. Um, my team in the last five years had to deal with all of these platforms and functionalities to be able to get to the know-how of what it is that we do. Um, and I, I, it's, this is my 25th year, 25th year in higher ed, and I've never seen anything like this before. 
Um, I, I mentioned market research is important, so we, got, we became very good at that. This is an uh, in-house operation as well. And we usually tell this story in a, in a day and a half or two day event at Georgia Tech, so I just squeeze it into eight minutes and I know there's a lot to ask and there's a lot to learn. Uh, we're tentatively scheduled for September 4th and 5th. If you're interested, my email is down at the bottom here. Uh, we will be happy to have you at this event. And, and as Michael mentioned, we take pride in sharing honestly what it is that we do well and what it is that we are still learning. And every single time we hold this event, we, know, we learn from the questions and from the folks in the audience. Um, out of the 50-some uh, programs that are affordable, that are at scale out there right now, uh, to our knowledge, the, the lowest one is around $20,000. Many of those folks came and became a part of this event, University of Michigan, Penn State, NYU, UC, uh, CU Boulder. So we collectively learn and create programs of quality for students. So thank you for, so much for your time and attention.